What's going on you guys? Slim back here with a new video for you guys and today I got my boy Jeremy Ortiz's first place undefeated Attack of the Giant card deck profile as you guys can see he played at what he likes to call Red Eyes Draguru. Uh, you guys already know, of course, Red Eyes Dragoon with Guru. You know I'm a sucker for Guru, so I have to profile it. You already know. Shout out to you, bro. Thank you for sending this to me. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell. You guys be notified whenever I upload. You'll also be notified when I stream over here as well as on Twitch. Links are in the description. While you're down there, consider joining my ever-growing Discord community. If you want to purchase any of the cards that you see here on the screen to build this deck yourself or just to get cards in general, please use my TCG player link as a portion of what you spend goes back to the channel it helps me out and i really do appreciate it and last but not least if you want to further support me in the channel consider becoming a channel member by clicking that join button or by becoming one of my patreons with all that out of the way you guys this man went undefeated winning the giant card and he did it with guru now we already know since the one of the remote duel invitationals guru has been on a rise a lot more players are giving the deck more uh you know more of a chance trying to see how it does in the meta and the deck is very well positioned in this meta clear to say pot of prosperity made a big difference for this deck it definitely gave it a boost in consistency it needed to be able to dig to the pieces you need for this type of deck and i think this deck is just very strong and like i said very well positioned in the format I also have a rundown of his uh, his uh, tournament run with this. Uh, Dex is very solid. I also have some pictures up over here for you guys to see. Uh, he he really likes high rarity cards. He just wanted to show this to, uh, to anyone that does appreciate high rarity cards. I'm one of those people. I do really like high rarity cards. Uh, he does have the deck uh, blinged out. It just looks really nice. So I just wanted to show that real quick for you guys. Uh, just give him a shout out again for sending that to me. But yeah, we will get into it. Uh, like I said, uh, first place uh, winning the attack of the giant card with uh, Red Eyes Draguru. So uh, for the hand trap, we have just two copies of ash blossom and three copies of dimension shifter i don't need to tell you that dimension shifter is absolutely insane in this deck uh this card literally just skips your opponent's turn if you actually go second because you guys already know guru and stun decks in general don't really like to go second like they don't do that well going second but shifter literally you discard this card your opponent's graveyard is cut off and literally they'll pass to you and then guess what it's like you went first it's pretty crazy along with three copies of fiendus and the three copies of Guru. If you notice, he isn't playing the uh, Nemesis Archer, but that's either here nor there. Like, some players like the card, some players do not like the card. Like, you can just get a lot of control with just these sub Terra monsters, and I think it's fine. And he's playing, the, of course, the Dark Magician and the Red Eyes Black Dragon in order to summon Dragoon. He's got the one copy of Mystic Mind. Uh, this card, you know, is just still in the format, and this is a card that, you know, can buy you the time to actually get to your pieces. Uh, that's probably what this card is used for the most. A lot of times, players don't actually have an out to this card, so sometimes you can steal wins because they literally just do not have an out to it they do not respect the card in the format so that can backfire for them so this card is very solid in the deck and then uh two copies of duality along with the three copies of prosperity for these type of decks this has become like the new norm prosperity is obscene in this deck because your extra deck i really like his extra deck and we'll talk about it when we get to it but literally you could banish six and just dig for what you need if you're missing the field spell if you're missing guru if you're missing the fiendus if you're missing the final battle to complete what i call the four the four piece combo of guru control you're there if you need to dig for red eyes fusion you're there it, it's crazy and then you can actually still use duality which is like the one of the only pot cards you can use in tandem with uh, prosperity so i think that's just an amazing uh you know ratio i think this is like the best ratio and this is probably we're going to see going forward for decks like this of course the triple copies of red eyes fusion and the terraforming and the three hidden city he also went to play two copies of talent this card's very strong not only can this help you draw cards or rip a card out of your opponent's hand this can also help you against co uh, combating dragoon because also this deck can struggle against dragoon itself so having an out like this built into your main deck is very strong the trap cards of course has got triple copies of solemn judgment to say no two copies of solemn strike very good this format two copies of final battle three copies of summon limit this card uh you guys already know this card was obscene for caesar when he won this card is still insane so good against every deck in the format basically outside of like eldritch and other decks like that but against drytron and virtual world this card literally just locks him out so this card's insane and then just two copies that there can only be one i feel that summon limit is definitely the better floodgate so i can completely understand why he played three copies of this over three copies of there can be only one but that's a main deck of 40 cards side deck uh, of course pancratops you go second this is like the best side deck card you can have triple copies in nibiru this card obviously is very good against virtual world drytron any deck that does overextend and a lot of decks will overextend if they know they're playing against a trap deck because they need to have as much field presence and as much options to negate anything that comes their way or to combat the opponent's traps so nibiru can definitely punish that 
that punish them and then get the game back to you. For back row removal, we got triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone and the Duster, that's standard. One Imperial Order for going first, uh, card just to blow out against a lot of decks. And then his other floodgates are triple copies of Soul Drain. This card literally says monsters that are banished as well as monsters in the graveyard cannot activate their effects. It literally just blows out Drytron. This card is obscene and it's just amazing that a deck can actually play this. And then triple copies of Waking the Dragon. Now, if you look at this man's extra deck, this extra deck is tailored to everything and i mean everything he's got the two copies of entis which you can send if you're playing against dogmatica or anything like that to pop cards he's got the mechaba which goes with the nova the cyber dragon nova again if you're playing against maximus you literally send nova and then you summon mechaba it's crazy he's got the one copy of exterio which literally can come out off waking the dragon the two copies of dragoon he did tell me that there were a couple times he did double dragoon like you could literally uh use red eyes fusion and then if they destroy your waking the dragon summon another dragoon and then they really just lose so this card is crazy one last warrior from another planet this is probably the best waking the dragon target in the game it literally says neither player can uh, can summon monsters so you blow up the board and then they just can't summon monsters but your guru you can set monsters you could set guru and keep using guru's effect and then the opponent just loses he's got a copy of the ultimate falcon a lot of decks actually can't deal with this card he does play one copy of boral sword i'm assuming that this does come up sometimes when you have this plus dragoon like in other situations to otk mega clops a lot of decks can't answer this card just very good then just standard nightmares one phoenix one unicorn then the one copy of verde if you have to if you have to get to dragoon that way and the one copy of relinquish anima which you are able to make with your copy of subterra fiendus to just take other monsters as well uh, that's it for the main deck the side and the everything and i'm just going to go into his uh, tournaments real quick so it was a six round tournament those of you that are familiar with attack of the giant card they usually are uh, round one he actually got a buy which is interesting round two he played against anti-meta which is basically inspector border control round three was against true draco shout out to slops you already know round four five and six was all virtual world damn <laughs> damn is all i can say so what he wanted to say is the buy was annoying but there were 72 people that were entered in this as a vet and they had to bring it down to 32 tables round one uh two were round one and two were swift because dragoon is just way too strong that it makes sense you play against an anti-meta deck or you play against true Draco, you put a border you they can have border and stuff but if you literally dragoon them they can't play round three and four all three went the distance but i will say the mvp was waking for games two and three summoning double red eyes dragoon happened twice and i also used ultimate falcon and last warrior he just says it's honestly the craziest card like i said this card literally just locks out the opponent completely only card he was iffy on uh was the double ash i was testing with these in crackdown and i liked both for their interactions strike is also crazy to help uh other traps resolve so that does make sense so you can push your traps through so he was a little iffy with his ratios but for the most part it worked out and Another shout out he wants to give is to Tier One Games in River uh, River Edge, New Jersey, best local in New Jersey, and the staff staff is super awesome, even with the COVID restrictions. So yeah, so shout out to you guys. And yeah, this is the deck, you guys. This deck is honestly crazy. Like I know most people are gonna say this is just Dragoon, this is just Dragoon Guru, but you have to remember this is what the format has shifted into, to where everyone that was playing Drytron, everyone that's playing Eldritch, everyone that is playing Virtual World, you sometimes forget about decks like this. It's when I talked about uh, why Guru has been successful at multiple. Uh, uh, invitationals and stuff is that you win that die roll you open dragoon with summon limit or dragoon with there can only be one and some negates and stuff how does the opponent play it's pretty hard to play against a deck like this and i think it's pretty crazy but overall i really like the deck i think it was very well constructed i like that he stuck to 40 cards i like his choices in the floodgate department because these are cards that are very impactful against the format and i think his side deck is also very well tailored to the format i think soul drain is an awesome card to play on this deck doesn't hinder you at all and i think it's fantastic and of course waking the dragon just being a blowout you want to destroy back row you better hope you can get past the last warrior an ultimate falcon or something like that or double dragoon it's it's pretty wild but yeah that's everything i got to say for today you guys hope you guys did enjoy if you did be sure to give the video a like again shout out to you jeremy i appreciate you sending this to me bro and congratulations again on winning attack of the giant card uh next to the main event this is probably one of the hardest most competitive side events that there is a uh, lot of good players always enter because everyone is always after those those giant cards they do pull in a good amount of money and they always are sought after by a lot of collectors so again shout out to you jeremy for winning i think the deck is awesome and i definitely can't wait to see what continues to happen with guru in the future but that's all i got for today you guys i'll see you guys in the next video thank you for watching